another beautiful morning here in Utah. We are uh, headed out to our next adventure this morning. So, you want to tell them where we're going? We are going to the Needles. The Needles District. The Needles District. Where? Where is that? It is in uh, Canyonlands National Park. That's right. Yep. So, in case, uh, for those that are not aware, uh, Canyonlands National Park is divided in different districts because it's so big. And the video uh, that you may have already seen that we've already, uh, the place we visited was Island in the Sky. That's one district. The Needles is another district. And then there's a, a, a third district called the Maze. Um, we're not planning on going to the Maze. I'm sure it's another great place to go see. Uh, fun fact that we learned about the Maze was there was a movie uh, film that was based it actually happened there was an event that happened there uh the movie i think it's 127 hours where the hiker got his arm stuck in the rock and the only way to survive was that he had to cut his arm off to uh get out of there uh, that event happened in the maze in canyonlands we had no idea one of the park rangers told us about that so interesting little fact there i think that's a really remote one yeah it's uh really remote i think there's a lot of like off-roading and trails and uh, remote camping and stuff like that that people go do in the maze but uh, like I said we're going to uh, the Needles District today it looks like another wonderful and beautiful place to see inside Canyonlands uh, we're gonna head to the visitor center there we'll get our nice little cancellation stamp for our book and a sticker I'm sure Abby's gonna want a t-shirt as well yeah. oh also the uh, the ranger did tell us that you cannot get to the other other districts from one of the other districts right. so they're all in a separate area well it's a long drive around to each one so right. like you can't go into one district and just drive across the, the the canyons separate everything so that's yeah. why you have to take the highway so the drive there today uh, from our campground was an hour and 20 minutes so we have to uh, drive south and it kind of hook around and it takes you right back up into canyon lands but of course it's incredibly beautiful that's actually canyon lands well I can't see it now so I get past this little hill but that is actually in the distance there is uh, going into Canyonlands National Park. You just have to go around to be able to get to it. So it looks like it's gonna be another great place to see. We're looking forward to it. That's our adventure for today. Today is actually our last full day in Utah. I'm so sad. But we love I it love here. This place. has got to be one of our you know, top favorite places that we have been and visited. Yes. We absolutely have loved Moab, yes. and I know we're going to end up back here again. And we didn't even do half of what's here. I mean, no, there's so many things to see and do here. Yeah. There's, I mean, the off-roading is endless. Is. Endless opportunities of off-roading. So the, there's the there's little, a lot there's a lot of other sections uh, that we want to go and explore with the yeah. uh, side by side on a future trip. And the downtown is precious, and there's really cute shopping and really uh, everything that we've eaten now has been. Restaurants have been good, yep. and the Avon barbecue at the camp has been good too. I did test out the pancakes this morning at we, another place. We went to the Moab Diner this morning. That was our first time going to Moab Diner, and it was awesome. It the was. The service there was so fast and speedy. I think our food came out in like five minutes. It was incredible. They did a great job, and uh, the, the people were super friendly. I mean, they hustle there. And uh, it's a great place to go. Like and, to and the prices them. were like cheaper than pretty much anywhere we have been. It's true. Seriously. They, they, they just, great, great place to go. Check that out if you come to Moab. So we, we will meet you guys down there in, uh, in Canyonlands at the Needles. Just turned on to uh, Road 211. We've got about 30 miles still to go to Canyonlands pretty drive up in here into the park Abby just had to uh, hit the brakes and come to a complete stop because the deer walked right in front of her it only happens when she it drives only happens when I drive that's like the third or fourth time I think I know that's sure. I know that's the second time a deer is just right in front of you yeah, <laughs> yeah this is beautiful up in here even quite in the park yet it's been a beautiful drive like the last 10 miles or so looking up at these gorgeous mesas 
Those almost look like pyramids, don't they? There's some out there that are pyramid shaped. Hopefully we'll get to see those up closer here in a bit. We've officially made it back into Canyonlands National Park at the maze. No, we're not no. at the maze. I'm sorry. Why did I say the maze? Because the you're needles. Thinking about the maze. The uh, the needles district. So here's the sign. We're gonna walk over here and get a uh, get a picture. Yes. Beautiful out here. So excited. We love checking out the signs whenever we get here. Yes, we do. This has been a beautiful drive in. Oh yeah, it's gorgeous coming up in here. Always fun to get a couple pictures to capture the moment. So we got our uh, sign, pictures right back there, and now the on to the uh, visitor center. We'll do a little research on uh, the best places for us to go and explore today. Okay, we're getting ready to go through the little shack. We've got our annual pass. Yes, we do. <laughs> Definitely do this. If you are planning on going to more than two parks in a year, Probably two parks, you think? Well, it I want to. I want to say it's like thirty dollars uh, to get into the park, which is good, I believe, for seven days. So if you're uh, here for a week, you can come in multiple times. Yep. But so I think if you, I think if you end up going to three parks in a year, then it pays for itself. It's also good for national monuments and things like that because we have a national seashore in mm -hmm. Florida, so that gets us in um, with this as well. But yeah, it's eighty bucks, and I think if you're over sixty-five. 55 i don't know what it is i think it's 62. Then you can buy a lifetime so you you spend 80 dollars and it's a lifetime pass yep. so get your pass all right so we're at the visitor center here at the uh the needles and we got the passport stamp station right here there there's where we went to uh canyon lands and uh arches we've got some of the stamps in here so we're gonna go ahead, let me find a empty page. Right there, I plan on getting the official stamp sticker to put in here, so we're gonna put our stamps here at the bottom. Looks like we've just got the one though. There was a Junior Ranger one, but. I don't see the Junior Ranger. One. I don't either. So. Perfect. Nailed it. I'm gonna do it one more time. Just I got it, okay. Okay. I'm gonna put it over here just in case. Yep. There we go. October the 3rd, 2020, the Needles District. Fantastic. Very cool. All right. So we'll go in there and we'll get our travel stamp there as well inside. Yay. Another one down. Another one in the book. That's how it should look. Yeah, absolutely. Abby got her Subaru just sitting at home, don't have any miles on it yet. <laughs> all right so this is our first actual uh destination inside the uh, the needles here it's a big spring canyon overlook is what it is and then there's another hike uh just behind the stair called slick rock parking lot was full so we're just going to go from here up to the slick rock hike trail and do that very cool these are cool like little the way those the way those rock ledges there. just kind of yeah. stick out yeah that is very neat and i don't know if you can see it on the camera but in the distance over there that is the island in the sky yep so there's there's a mesa there kind of sticking up above this canyon wall everything over on that side where we really can't see from here is the island in the sky where we visited earlier in the week so that gives you a, a really good idea of how big this park is yep it's huge there's a trail that starts here I believe called the Confluence Trail and it's a 10 mile long trail. Oh okay yeah there's some guys down there gonna hike the trail and I believe it goes all the way down to an overlook right next to the Colorado River. That's pretty cool look they're up there. All right, we're gonna see if we can uh, climb up to the top of the rocks there where those folks were. It's like a little uh, staircase here. Yeah, 
Abby beat me up there. Come on, old man. I, I went the wrong way. Here you go. I gotta use both of my hands to get up here. Whew. What a view. Wow. Yeah. I try not to breathe heavy into the camera. I know. We apologize, everybody. Yes, we do. <laughs> That's pretty cool. You can see where the water flows down whenever they have... Is that like a waterfall, probably? I bet you it is whenever they get a bunch of rain. Yeah, it probably just flows right through there. Fantastic. You've had me on the side of a cliff. Yep, for several almost months this whole now. trip. Yep. <laughs> I love it. Well, that was a fun little yeah. <laughs> crawl up there, up the uh, up the rocks. View. Yeah, great view here too. So, I think we're gonna head up there to the slick rock, grab some waters, and go for a little hike on the slick rock trail. Here we are, Slick Rock Trail. 2.4 miles. 2.4 miles. Two hours. Wow. This is a cool trail <laughs> and we're using all of the uh, stacks of rocks as they were put here for to uh, show the uh, show the trail. So it actually, yeah, it goes this way. Okay, so we made it to uh, the first viewpoint and the trail continues that way. All right, so we're standing out here at the uh, first viewpoint of the t of the trail. So looking over there, that is Island in the Sky. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. <coughs> it's a little hazy today. We still got a lot of the uh, smoke haze yeah. on us, but this is a really cool 360 degree view of the park. And if I turn all the way around here to this side, it's going to be hard for you guys to see on camera, but there's a big section of what they consider the needles right there. So we made it to our next trail that we're going to walk here, and this is called a Pothole, Pothole Point Trail. And they said it is 0.6 miles. I'm assuming that's round trip, 40, yeah, 45 minute round trip there. I've been enjoying seeing all the uh, cactus out here. This is really interesting to see and why they call it a pothole point trail. It's really cool. There we can see way off in the distance, island in the sky. Well, without us doing the however many tens of miles of hikes it's gonna take to uh, get over to the needles, this is about the closest shot that I think I can put on the video of the, of the needles. It, it is absolutely beautiful. I would love to see that, but we would have to hike all the way in there. Maybe on the next trip. Maybe. I was looking at the map. I mean, there is just miles and miles of trails that go all through the needle section. And there's a lot of uh, natural arches in there as well. So you got to give it up to the true hikers that 
make their way all the way in there to uh, be able to see those places up close. Very. Come up here and see the softer layers underneath the uh, harder sandstone. Well, we've just about completed our loop here at the uh, Pothole Trail. This was really funky and cool. Yeah, this is a neat place to see. Yeah. You get great views of the park. There's the uh, parking lot there. So we're going to head on back to the truck and we're going to go find the picnic area. We're ready, to, we're ready to have our lunch out here. Got our little picnic spot. Surprising enough, we got it. We got it all to ourselves in the uh, the big old black crows over there <laughs> that's walking around on my truck. <laughs> Just leftovers from yesterday, we got some sliced turkey, sliced cheese, crackers, and grapes. Mm -hmm. And some water. Oh, and these are really, really good too. The baked ruffles. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Yeah, don't. You eat that whole bag. You will, yeah. yeah. You got to just pull out a couple and Share put them back. Share with someone. Share with someone. <laughs> Great little spot. Right next to the road. But beautiful out here. Mm -hmm. Just, uh... Behind us there, right over there, is actually where the Neils is at. Mm -hmm. 